The Create Form group is where you can group all the items in your form, work with hidden items, and modify the tab order. To set the tab order once you've created the form items for your form, simply shift-click all the items in the tab order that you'd like to use. When a user is navigating the form, they can type the tab key and the active field will cycle in this order. After making the multiple item selection, choose tab order and the new tab order will be saved. To group your form objects into a single form, keep those items selected and choose group form. This will create a red box surrounding your form items. This red box is for your reference only and won't appear on the page as published. Dragging the form group box will drag all the form objects as one group, but you will still be able to reposition items within the group without ungrouping. To add a form item to the group, simply drag a new form item into the box. You can resize the form group if necessary. To access the form group's properties, either use the drop-down menu in the ribbon or double-click the red box. Here you can use Web Studio's built-in form to email script to automatically generate and send an email with the contents of your form when a user clicks submit. Just enter your email address, your name, and the subject you'd like to use. You can give the form a name and specify a page to load after a successful submission. You can also customize the invalid data highlight color to your liking. For advanced users, this is also where you can enter your custom scripts.